So once you've mounted the camera using the enclosed Arca Swiss plate, if you don't already own your own, here's the process for aiming and leveling the camera. If you have live view, it makes this easier. You don't have to bend over and look. First, raise the camera manually till you think you're in the center, and then tighten down the knobs. Next, spin the wheel knob until it goes all the way to the top. Then loosen that knob and fine tune adjust for center. So you have an enclosed target and the goal is to line up the target in the center of your viewfinder. So you can fine tune that by spinning that wheel. Next you adjust the film, moving it either closer or further away to your lens depending to fill the frame with the target. If you're off left to right, it's probably easiest just to unscrew the plate and shift the camera. It means you weren't centered when you placed the camera. So how close the film ends up to the lens depends on the length of your lens, the focal length of your lens, and the format of your film. Obviously 35 millimeter would need to be closer and 4x5 much further away. Okay, once you're lined up, if you want to check level, you can put a bubble level that's enclosed into your camera and make sure you're level. If not, you can adjust one of the legs. So in this case, our table is a little bit off. So we have to raise one leg. to Make sure everything is level. You adjust the front leg, you may have to adjust the back leg to bring up level. You can also check to make sure you're perpendicular with the film. You can see we are. And you can check the level of the film holder, but that should be fixed and not be an issue. You can also change the intensity of the light by rotating the dial on the back. And if you want to change the color temperature of the light, you push the button in and then you can turn that up to 5600 to daylight would be the recommended. And you can shoot your camera on daylight balance. I find if I have an image that's very light and has a lot of highlights in it, I end up turning my light way down. If you have a dense slide, you may want to turn your light up higher. I'm going to stick in another film holder. So you can see with a larger format, we're cropping way too much of the image. So you would just slide your film back and refocus, filling your frame with the target. So the larger your format film, the further away you'll be from your lens. Once you're there, lock down the film, 
and you're ready to go. Once you're doing a series of images with the same format film, I also recommend locking down the bolt in the front of the film holder just to make sure your distance does not change. And that's all there is to it. Enjoy your LM 35-45 to film-to-digital copier.